This is a day in my life as a YouTube music producer. Let's go. It's 5 a.m., still dark outside. I've trained myself to wake up at the same time every day so I don't need an alarm clock. I only sleep three hours a night. My day is all about productivity and a perfect calculate. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not that much of an asshole. <laughs> All right, you guys wanna see what an actual day in the life of a YouTube music producer looks like? Well, I'll show you mine. I usually wake up between 6.30 and 7 a.m. There's a reason why I do that, which has to do with the night before, but we'll get to that later. I try to resist the temptation to look at a screen right as I open my eyes, but the massive list of notifications accumulated through the night forces my brain to feed the dopamine addiction, and powerless, I reach for my phone. I quickly go through some of the comments on my latest YouTube video, check my Instagram DMs, scroll through my inbox, until eventually my overflowing bladder forces me to get out of bed and I head to the bathroom. Apart from what you may have heard about music producers, I do take daily showers. So I do that first to wake myself up. As you guys know by now, I wear the same exact outfit every single day. Black sweatpants, a black v-neck t-shirt, and my black hat. And yes, I have a stack of the same exact t-shirt. They cost $3 each and they are literally perfect. 7.45, time for coffee. I like my coffee how I like my clothes. Black and cheap. <sighs> that is so good. <laughs> By 8 a.m. I'm usually sitting right here, at this table in the kitchen, coffee in one hand, apple pencil in the other, listening to some music. This is the song I'm listening to right now. This is usually when I go over the tasks I have planned for the day, I respond to comments, DMs, emails, just basically all the admin stuff. At around 8.30 a.m. my wife Alyssa wakes up. We usually have a little morning chat about the day ahead of us and just whatever random stuff is on our mind. 9 a.m. I finally go into the studio. First task of the day, I am scripting this video. Yes, the one you're watching right now. I obviously don't do this for most videos because my content is not really usually scripted, but this is still the time that I dedicate in the morning to like planning whatever I'm going to shoot for the day, brainstorming ideas, basically all that kind of stuff. It's 10 a.m. As you may have noticed, by this time of the day, I haven't had any food yet. So I usually eat a quick snack to hold me off until lunch and I head out for my morning workout. I have made a commitment to myself to run or walk every single day for at least one hour. Everybody's been telling me that this gets better over time. Lies, <laughs> all lies. 11 a.m., exhausted from the run, I crawl back into the apartment, change my clothes, and head back into the studio. This is usually the part of the day where I work on videos. So there are shooting days and there are editing days. Today is technically a shooting day, but since the content of the video is my day, I'm actually gonna use this time to edit the footage that I shot this morning. Basically, the footage is just washed up until this point. This is so confusing. <laughs> At this point in time, I still edit all the videos myself, except for the subtitles, which are outsourced to an editor. I edit my videos in Final Cut Pro 10. I don't know if that's important information, but there you go. <laughs> Editing is honestly one of my favorite parts of the process. It's just super creative and just really... Hold on. Yeah, come in. I think I know exactly what this is. I've been waiting for this for weeks. I know exactly what this is. So a couple months ago, this company called III Headphones, they sent me this prototype of wireless headphones and these were like super great. So I reached out to them and asked them if they wanted to send me the final thing. So I think it just arrived. Whew. So they call these wireless modular headphones because they come as modular pieces. So here's the headband, here's one of the like head covers. I'm sure the speakers are somewhere in there. So basically you assemble them yourself. They're completely wireless. They have this crazy technology, which is this little thing right here, which you plug it into your interface or whatever audio source. And basically it pretty much eliminates any sort of latency. Hey, Italenti, thank you for checking out the TMA2 wireless headphones. We wanted to give your audience a little something special so they can use the code Italenti to get a completely free hard case with any purchase of the headphones. That's awesome. Thank you, Casper at IAI for the headphones. Headphones are ready. This goes into the audio interface and we're done. Nice. Well, if you guys want to check these out, I'm going to leave a link at the top of the description for both the American store and the European store. Make sure to use the code Italenti for a free hard case and thank you, IAI, for the headphones. I think these are going to become my main headphones. You guys are going to see these a lot. It's 12.30. For lunch, we decided to order some Subway since the wife has to leave in a bit and didn't really have enough time to cook. Right now, we're re-watching The Office for like the millionth time. We're tempted to binge watch the rest of the show since we're so close to the end. But like I said, Alyssa is about to leave and I have a ton of work to do, so one episode we'll have to do for now. It's 1 p.m., back to work. Today, I wanted to make some melodies and sounds for a new sample pack that I'll be working on. I think we're gonna start with something with the guitar.
<laughs> Dude, this is so good. <laughs> Dude, we're about to make a whole song. <laughs> Alright, let me mess with this a little bit more. What about halftime? Oh, that's kind of hard. Maybe speed it up to like 150. Are we going drill? I think we're going drill. <laughs> hey! I wasn't really planning to make a beat, I'm working on a sample pack, but I feel like it's really useful when you make a melody to just try it out with some drums and see if it even like works. This one definitely works. <laughs> Alright, it's now 3 p.m. and I still have about two hours until dinner. Alright, next up I need to work on the newsletter for this week. If you guys didn't know, I recently started a free music production newsletter called The Full Time Producer. Each and every week I find the most important music production news, free plugins, discounts, tutorials, and just a ton more. This project has honestly been super fun and the feedback from you guys has been incredible. If you want to join, the link is at the top of the description, it's completely free, and if you hate it, you can always unsubscribe later, so <laughs> you got nothing to lose. 4.30 p.m. I need a thumbnail for this video. So thumbnails are like one of the most important elements of making a YouTube video and I usually put a lot of work and thought into them. For this one, I wanted to do something that really represents my day in the life as a YouTube music producer. So I might do a picture where I'm holding the camera while I'm playing the keyboard. I don't know, something like that. I know this looks really silly, but I'm really just trying to create something exciting that will entice people to check out the video. I mean, if you're watching this now, it probably means I put together a pretty good thumbnail. <laughs> At around 5 p.m., the wife and I decide to start cooking. We've been using this service called HelloFresh, and tonight we're making pita broges met zelfgemacht toni. I honestly don't know what that is. It's in Dutch, but it looks like some sort of tuna sandwich with carrot fries. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> All right, here's the final thing. It looks pretty good. I'm excited. We decided to watch a couple more episodes of The Office while we eat and spend the rest of the night playing Final Fantasy XIV. I am playing with a summoner and Alyssa is currently leveling up a black mage. This game is way too addicting, so we decide to turn it off. Dude, it's 10.30. We've been playing for like four hours. <laughs> Usually this is the time when Alyssa goes to bed and I go back to the studio for a couple more hours. These are the last two hours of the day, and unless I have something I really have to do before the day is over, I usually spend this time improving my skills, practicing guitar, or just experimenting with weird music. Tonight, I'm working on learning A Joe by Jimi Hendrix. I'm learning the first section of One Note Samba by Antonio Carlos Jobim. And also, I just made this. I'm not really sure what it is. <laughs> just trying stuff out. Well, it's 12.30 a.m. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the next one.